Hello, my name is Blanche and this is the first video for Cafe Blanche Studios. Since I'm new to YouTube, the content of my videos will be open-ended for now, but you can expect prop building, painting, drawing, and other art experiments. Today we are working on a skull prop. Here's a view of it prior to painting. I cannot say that it's 100% anatomically accurate, but it is a fairly realistic skull to start with. We will try to age it today by experimenting with Stuart Semple's Black 3.0 to age it and make the sockets look more like sinister voids. To start off with, here we have a close-up view of the inside of Jabba the Hutt's stomach. Okay, bad joke, but we can see the inside sculpt and that the material the skull is made of is slightly translucent and we want to mask that so that we get the most impact from the Black 3.0. The main focus, as I stated, are the eye sockets to get that void effect but first we need to remove some of this glossy factory finish with some pure acetone since to be its darkest we need it as matte as possible. Although it seems like cheating, even Semple suggests priming the surface, and since we don't want to have 17 layers of 3.0, we do that first with regular black acrylic paint mixed with golden super loaded matte medium, and then with black 2.0, Stuart Semple's previous black paint, and then with 3.0. Also, since this seems to be some sort of plastic or resin type material, I'm going to use a layer of Montana spray paint primer to make sure the paint adheres to the surface. It claims to be safe for indoors, but in my tiny studio, I'm actually going to spray it in a container instead and brush it on in thin layers.
was finished but the more I looked at it the more I realized that I should not have painted the sockets to the edges and I should have left more of the bone showing. The black looked great but the realism suffered so here I am a couple of weeks later removing some of that excess paint with some acetone. <laughs> I realized one of the teeth was not quite carved out in the sculpt, so I took a diamond file to fix it. And here it is. Finished. For real this time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the process. I did. 
Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the change in the school. Did you think it was a little bit or a lot? Was it worth it? And whether or not you would experiment yourself with Black 3.0. I hope you come back for more videos in the future. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.